For those who may not know, OpenAI recently announced that they are creating a super alignment team and they are going to commit 20% of their computing resources to the task of solving super alignment. Now let's see how it would work, or more specifically, the difficulties with super alignment feedback for OpenAI based on how they have approached alignment thus far and what they have said about super alignment. First, the question is, what is super alignment? So just by taking OpenAI's statement on super alignment. Super alignment is the process of ensuring that super intelligent AI systems, which are systems much smarter than humans, follow human intent. It involves developing new scientific and technical breakthroughs that can effectively guide and control these highly advanced systems. This is making the assumption of credibility, which we'll talk about later. The goal is to prevent potentially catastrophic scenarios such as super intelligent AI going rogue or becoming uncontrollable. Super alignment is a critical challenge in the field of AI safety and is considered one of the most important unsolved technical problems of our time. So, super alignment is not about ethics and disinformation. Super alignment is fundamentally about X risk, or what we used to call existential risk, but what people have simplified to just call extinction risk. It's not about job displacement, it's not about preserving the economy as it is, it's not even about ethics, privacy, or social credit systems, it's not about democracy, it's not about manipulation campaigns, making money, or even regulation, it is about preventing extinction level events. Currently, when a model, for example, an AI model, gets trained, there is a way that it has been aligned. What is this alignment? Whenever an AI model is created, these researchers try to align that AI model with human values. They align it with the way we speak, the way we communicate, the way we answer questions, or the way we do not answer some questions. All these properties, all these characteristics of what human beings used to do, have been given to these models. And that's what they call alignment. Mostly, this alignment happens with a technique called RLHF, reinforcement learning with human feedback. Human feedback is given to this model and a reward model is created. Using a reinforcement learning technique, these models are trained to value human feedback or human values in such a way that they are aligned with human beings. Many people do not like this because they believe that it takes away what the model is innately capable of, but that's where we are. So what OpenAI believes is that right now, this RLHF is not very scalable and human beings have to be there to do this alignment. OpenAI believes that when we have super intelligent AI systems, intelligent systems that are much more intelligent than human beings, it's like man versus Superman. Imagine that intelligent systems versus super intelligent systems. Then many believe that these super intelligent systems will not take orders from human beings because we are intellectually less capable. So how do we ensure that these super intelligent systems are aligned with human values without actual humans sitting there telling them what to do? That is exactly what they are trying to do with super alignment. To do that, they are going to build an automated alignment researcher like a human. What does a large language model do? A large language model tries to replace certain aspects of what we do in terms of intelligence. It writes an article, tweets, or creates a drawing. This is what large language models have been doing. But now, take a researcher who does alignment for AI model. What if that researcher is not a human being, but you can have a model or a researcher that is highly automated and highly intelligent, just like a human being. That's exactly what the company is trying to do. Create a human level automated alignment researcher. They want to build that, and that alignment researcher will do the super alignment for these super intelligent systems, which will ultimately respect human values. Because OpenAI is still a company that believes that AI, when wrongly handled, could pose a threat to humanity, they always stick to this narrative. Even in this blog post, you can see that preventing it from going rogue and a lot of other things. They always talk about how AI systems can go wrong, so one of the reasons they want to do super alignment is to prevent the extinction of human beings. So to align the first automated alignment researcher, they want to do three things. First, they want to develop a scalable training method so that it's not one-to-one. -one. It's like real life, where a human being is literally sitting and then doing tick marks and cross marks, validating the model and stress testing the entire alignment pipeline. Stress testing the entire alignment pipeline is where they want to do adversarial attacks 
or inject wrong things like misaligned models and see how this super aligned researcher or the AI researcher would behave. So this is what they're trying to do, to create an automated alignment researcher who is going to do the super alignment for the super intelligent systems. They intend to develop a scalable training method first, validate it, and then stress test it in order to achieve this. What they believe is that they can allow only 20% of their capacity as of now. Two of their most prominent and well-known stars are being dedicated now. Moving on to the general challenges, why is super alignment hard? First and foremost is the normalcy bias. So, human brains evolved on the savannas of Africa and then spread across the world. Our brains do not comprehend exponential growth because it's not in our evolutionary distribution. In the context of AI, it's very difficult to understand superintelligence even when you look at the trends because all you see is a trend on a graph. Evolutionarily speaking, our brains handle shorter time horizons focusing on immediate needs like finding food or avoiding immediate threats. Thus, we struggle to grasp the implications of exponential growth. Next, let's discuss some additional challenges related to super alignment. One significant challenge is the lack of a clear roadmap. Achieving super alignment requires scientific and technical breakthroughs, but we lack a precise plan for reaching this goal. Moreover, the risks of misaligned AI systems are not well understood, and there are concerns about catastrophic outcomes if we make mistakes. Additionally, there's the issue of emergent behavior. AI systems may exhibit unexpected and unintended behaviors, especially when they surpass human intelligence. These behaviors could pose significant risks, and it's challenging to predict and control them. Another challenge is corrigibility, which refers to an AI system's willingness to be corrected by humans. Ensuring that superintelligent AI remains corrigible is crucial but it's uncertain how to achieve this in practice. Furthermore, the AI alignment community faces coordination challenges. OpenAI is dedicating significant resources to super alignment, but achieving alignment requires collaboration among researchers and organizations. Coordinating efforts to solve alignment problems effectively is a complex task. Lastly, there's the issue of value alignment. Superintelligence must align with human values and intentions. However, defining and encoding these values into AI systems is challenging and can lead to unintended consequences. So that's exactly what they are trying to do with super alignment. What do you think about it? Does it sound crazy? Before ChatGPT, almost everybody would have said that this was crazy. But having seen ChatGPT and the growth of AI systems, what do you think about super alignment as a problem? Do you think super alignment is required? Do you think super intelligence is possible? Please let us know in the comments below. Do like, share, and subscribe for more.